Hey guys, good morning. So I just got done listening to a book called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson, and I just wanted to give you a few of the principles that I got out of the book that I thought were really worth um, passing on to you. As I'm starting to work more and more with people, I'm starting to see a pattern of people who have unrealistic expectations of how fast they think they can accomplish their goals or to become successful. And he talks about how when we were more of an agriculture society, we understood this principle better that you sow your seeds or plant your seeds, but before you can harvest, you have a long season of cultivation and nurturing those seeds before you get the harvest. And nowadays, people want to plant their seeds today and then harvest them tomorrow. And that's setting people up for failure. And so he talks about how these little decisions that are very easy to make, but they're also easy not to make, compounded daily can greatly affect your life and whether or not you reach your goals. So, for example, if you eat a cheeseburger and french fries today, are you going to drop dead of a heart attack? No. What if you eat them tomorrow too? No. Or a week straight? No. There, There's no short-term um, results that you see that are going to affect that. But compounded over time, you will have an unhealthy lifestyle. So. Um, that's an example that he uses. He also talks about a graph and he says on this graph is are two lines and they are flat or slightly elevated and one is the success curve and one is the failure curve and the person on the success curve makes little decisions, disciplined decisions daily that are very easy to make but they're thinking about how they affect their long term and they're on the success curve and on the failure curve is somebody who um, makes undisciplined decisions based on just how they feel in the moment and they're on the failure curve. And for years, the, the two lines are running parallel or they may even be um, overlapped. It may look like one line, but eventually after enough time, because time can either be your enemy or your ally depending on the decisions that you're making, after enough time goes by, eventually the success curve is gonna go up and the failure curve is going to go down and that's where you see the, the, the gap between the two. They don't just start out with that gap and for a long time they look like they're on the same path but eventually you get the split and the successful people go, go up and the failure people go down. So I just wanted to pass this along to you because I love helping people and I do not want to see people get discouraged because they get excited, they get a plan, they're going to improve their lives and then it doesn't happen tomorrow or the next day. And I don't want to see that for you. I want you to know that to reach consistent success, it's, it's a disciplined effort of making these small decisions daily that are easy to do, but also easy not to do. So I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day.